Most programs give you the ability to undo your last action or actions, which is great for fixing mistakes or trying something different. And in most programs, the keyboard shortcut for undoing an action is Command-Z or Control-Z on a PC. So if I delete a clip and I want that back, I'll just press Command-Z and I have it back, no problem. But what if I wanted to go back to a point five minutes ago? Well, fortunately, Premiere Pro makes this relatively easy by using the History panel. Now, just so you know, you don't have any specific exercise files for this movie because each individual user has his or her own unique activity within the history panel. So just follow along with your own history panel, although it'll look different than mine. And I've still provided a sequence in the 6.4 bin for you. All right, so I'm going to come over to the history panel within the project pane. And it's the last tab here. If it's not there for you, just go to Window and History. And what this is, is the last 32 actions that I've done, okay, with the most recent actions at the bottom. You can sort of see everything that I've done lately. And I'll just do something very simple right now so you can see the activity added to the history panel. I'll select this clip and just move it over a tiny bit, okay? And you can see that that equates to lift and overwrite selection. If I undo that, Command-Z, you can see that it's still there, but it's grayed out. All right, so I have 32 undos available to me. Um, if I've recently opened a project, this number will reset. So accessing your history panel is only as good as the session that you've most recently been working in. All right, so I can use the history panel in a number of ways. One, perhaps I just need to look back at my list of actions to refresh my memory on how I got to a certain place. Two, and probably much more likely, is that I actually need to step back in time because I tried out something that didn't work really well, maybe I messed things up and got out of sync, or maybe I just liked the edit the way it was before I tried a bunch of other things. So I simply need to select the point in time before I made my mistake. So I actually just shortened my sequence and I'm not happy with it. I wanna get back the material that I lost. And I come back and I see that there it is right there. So what I wanna do is go one action before that. And so I'm gonna click there you can see that this is the section that I extracted. It's now back. And I'll press backslash to fit this within the timeline. OK. All right, so I've got it back. That's great. But let's take a look at the history panel. From this point on, everything is grayed out. So it's absolutely available to me. I could go forward through time and get all the way to the end again. And I can go backward in time up to a certain point. However, I'm going to go back to right before the extract and talk about what happens now. The very first edit that I make after I go back in time, I have to realize that all of the actions after that moment will go away. I no longer have access to them. You can think of it kind of like a parallel timeline that you can't go back and change. All right, so I've gone back before my extract. I'm just going to make a very simple edit. I'll trim this out. Okay. And notice that now, none of those actions are available. Now, as I continue to make edits, I will form new actions. All right, so needless to say, the history panel is a very useful tool. Whether you need to just go back and check how you got to where you are, or even more so, if you need to jump back in time and access an earlier point of your editing process.